It's time for the next session. Um, I've got the absolute pleasure to be joined by Ganesh Subramanian. Ganesh, hello. Hi. Hi, David. Hi. How are you doing? I'm well, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Well, welcome to the, to the show. Um, I'll let you uh, do the next presentation and I'll join you for Q&A over the end. Uh, Ganesh, over to you. Yeah. Thanks a ton, David. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Ganesh Subramanian, founder and CEO of Stylumia. We are a deep tech startup. Uh, uh, focusing on solving a fundamental challenge in uh, fashion business, which is bringing the demand and supply together and eliminate the guesswork and uh, reduce the wastage in meeting the consumer demand. And uh, we are based in uh, Bangalore in India. Uh, thanks PA Apparel for this opportunity and thanks uh, uh, everyone for uh, your time and uh, wherever you are, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. And uh, let me get started straight away. So today we are going to talk about something very, very interesting and uh, we are in the cusp of uh, transformation and COVID has given us a huge opportunity. While there is a lot of cloud and shrinking demand, we see this is a phenomenal opportunity for digital transformation and in particular, uh, you know, in the fashion industry. Let's look at, you know, what's happening in the fashion retail in general before we get into the state of affairs and also how do we transform. Fashion retail is changing fast, but the fashion product and inventory decision making are not. Customer expect expectations have changed significantly and they are changing on a dynamic basis. Our retail operations and executions have also changed, but the product and inventory decision making has not changed for a long, long time. Now let's look at uh, the challenges for the fashion business, it has always remained the same. We keep saying right product, right place, right time and right price. That hasn't changed at all. But clubbed with emerging tech and analytics, the volume of uh, opportunities increasing, velocity at which things are changing has increased, variety has increased, connectivity for the consumers have changed and for the business, which is cloud, AI has come in and machine learning has come in. If you have to solve the same challenges using these emerging tech and analytics, what are the opportunities we are left with? We are left with an opportunity of improving precision at the level of one, if possible, at the level of a store, if possible. Personalization or localization from a store perspective, we can predict better and eliminate waste, right? And I'm going to share with you some mind boggling numbers of waste that the industry is generating globally very soon. And how can we automate things so that we focus on what we are good at and leave the rest to the machines? With that, what we are sitting right now, I would call it, we have an inventory pandemic right now. Now, what, what is that causing? It is causing overbuys, underbuys, and also becoming irrelevant. We see lots of brands winding up, retailers winding up. Uh, it's it's fundamentally the business is a lot coming from are we choosing right merchandise? Are we meeting supply and demand? So managing this right and and not managing this well can actually even break a business. We are talking about also shrinking gross margin significantly. Now the question is, uh, before we get into what the new paradigm is, let's look at the current paradigm across different uh, functional areas of the fashion business. Let me start with uh, design. The design research has remained the same for a long, long time. And how do I say that? The way we do research, right? And I'm sure there are minor improvements. We are talking about transformational change, right? The way we do research, you know, traveling, of course, the travel is not happening in the last few months, but definitely we are looking at the digital, uh, you know, data to look at what's happening around the world. And we are also collecting a lot of expert-driven intuitive forecasts. We, we are not against any intuition. We are not against uh, human judgments. But the question is how well-informed they are. So that's the question. So that continues. We are making storyboards. Now, how much of these storyboards have consumer at the center? It's our bias or it's the limited amount of intelligence of collective wisdom of people in the organization or our trade partners, which is getting into uh, a signing of these storyboards. And after that, we are all predicting, right? Out of all the options available, which one should we go forward? Again, remains uh, 
uh, you know a panel of uh, a panel led decision making for millions of consumer with who are dynamically changing their purchasing behavior and after that we design ourselves and of course we innovate we put all of, this is an area that very very important i think the human element is super critical here and we bring identity to lot of consumers all over the world now we do lot of designing but that designing happens with a lot of funnel of information that we talked about let's just switch gears and move into the buying and merchandising area what's happening here the data is exponentially transforming we have a lot of data out there the quantum of data has significantly changed but at the same time the noise level in the data has also changed and i'll just quickly explain what the noise level is a lot of data that we are collecting today you are seeing today is all what i call supply data supply signals right we know right and i just said that i'll share with you the amount of wastage in the industry close to 160 billion garments that we are making in a year out of that 50 billion garments get sold at discount and around 50 billion never get sold at all now that's the amount of wastage particularly both from an economic perspective and also from a sustainability perspective and if you just track what's available out there we are all making the same probability of error so there is a huge amount of noise even if you think you are using data driven decisions you are picking lot of data you are checking lot of charts and assortments of the market you are seeing with this lens which is incorrect so we'll come back you know how do we solve that way to use the data has not changed right now we haven't put a filter to use this data that we are seeing now let's move into buying and merchandising and and we will all be very familiar right irrespective of any brand any size today right it is spreadsheet is still used in making final buy plans the line plans and closures right there's nothing wrong with the spreadsheets not nothing wrong with the uh, the format the question here is is it possible to analyze the dynamism the amount of data we have using these templates which are very linear and a uh, few dimensions that we are able to review is that good enough to understand consumer taste on a dynamic basis now decisions like this have been made for years right since 1990s for decades it still continues right now the question is why change now very important right the pressures are intensified in multiple dimensions be it demand and certainties and that's you know now what's the trend of the last uh, you know forget about season right we are moving into what we call season to season less fashion which is very data informed data informed season less fashion and the demand and uncertainties are making us do that and we have huge inventory challenges because of the way that we are functioning and second shrinking margins it's an outcome of the other two and of course lost sales now yeah i can't empathize with buying and merchandising community around the world the job is harder than ever before and we really appreciate that let's now move we bought the goods now we're moving into distribution omni channel distribution lots of parameters to look at by placing the inventory now are we now while the store taste is a function of consumers which is changing constantly the way we cluster stores hasn't changed much we cluster stores based on uh, uh, the vanity metrics maybe the size of the store maybe the revenue of those stores still vanity metrics are very high level they are not taste driven local market is also changing constantly store of last year is very different from store of this year competitive landscape is changing consumer preferences in the locality is changing now that therefore we are not actually making the uh, supply to these stores at the level of demand understanding that we should be doing for huge gap in the allocation space too for we have been seeing right from design to allocation there is a huge opportunity for us to use the technology and definitely put consumer at the center of everything that we do for this calls for a new thinking and this is exactly what we thought about in 2015 and said uh, you know all the existing systems in spite of them we have a significant challenge therefore a new company a new technology a new framework has to come alive and that's uh, when we started stylumia for so what are we doing differently here we are taking a systemic view of the value chain when we say systemic view right from consumer research right up to store delivery consumer at the center of every decision making and we supplement your experience knowledge and leverage 
data. Here, what we talk about data is both external data, consumer data at the internet scale, and your own data. And this is very important. We power everything with true demand. The entire system of fashion today is working on supply signal and supply science, I call it. We move, uh, we move the entire transformation to demand-led fashion system, right? And to help you right from research buying and allocation. Now, how do we sense true demand? True demand is not available. Therefore, we need to build an engine for we have, uh, you know, an award-winning proprietary AI engine. What it does is it scans the entire world of fashion, comes out with what are the consumer-loving ideas, consumer-loving categories, consumer-loving brands at any level of the hierarchy that you would like to have. And that led to development of various uh, solutions, starting from solving the fundamental questions of what how much, where, and when. And we take you through the entire cone of uncertainty right from design right up to store delivery. Now, is it a nice to use platform? Absolutely not. We have demonstrated a significant lift, as you can see, anywhere between 20 to 50% on key PNL variables, whether it is inventory, revenue, and profit. And we have so far saved over 60 million garments of wastage, and that's exponentially changing as we grow across the globe quick view about our solutions, right? And uh, this is about spotting the trend, the true demand of the market globally in the context relevant to you. You can analyze in any dimension that you want. You will get winning ideas. You will get winning trends. And also you will get white space opportunities on a dynamic basis, right? So that you are able to make, uh, you know, season-less merchandising decision on an ongoing basis. You could look at it at various levels. And of course, we have a booth here, and I'm sure those who are curious, definitely you can go to the booth and I'm, our team is waiting to tell you more about how we can enable your business. And we use computer vision to understand aesthetic attributes of fashion. Fashion cannot be described in attribute, and that's one of the reasons that everything that we do, it's image plus text, right? And cutting across all sources of information, including runways, retail, from luxury to value across the world. This is very interesting and uh, you know, the most difficult problem in fashion is how do you predict demand of a new unseen new product, right? But the finest level of prediction, therefore I'm just showing you one snippet of our prediction capability. It's almost like this, take a snap of what you like and the engine will tell you, will it work for you or not? While it looks very simple, a lot of work goes behind the screen in, uh, in developing uh, you know, ensemble machine learning model for your brand or the DNA of your brand using all the data from outside and inside and specially made for you. And uh, does this work? We have demonstrated accuracy lift anywhere between 10 to 40%, extremely significant. What that means is, let me tell you in a few words, you can double your profit by using our prediction engine. And this can work across the various levels of the hierarchy in the plan by process and getting your assortment to, uh, you know, very close to what the consumers would like to have. And, uh, you know, before we, you know, I close this, I want to show you something exciting coming up, right? While we help you in all the processes, we are launching something called Imagine. Now, Imagine is basically a designer assistant. It's pre-market launch. Uh, you know, you're the first one to see. Let me just play this quick video.
isn't it amazing right technology can help us uh, even uh, in the creative space i think i just want to put uh, you know a uh, disclaimer here so we are not here against the uh, creativity what we are saying is how do we augment creativity how do we enable designers because the demands on creation is increasing by the day and how do we come out with relevant design ideas which can go into in fact what you saw we partnered with uh, helsinki fashion week and generated designs uh, in a controlled fashion using all the designs which were showcased uh, during the helsinki fashion week few few months back and uh, we'll be launching this soon if you want to know more about this uh, you know visit our booth uh, now all the designs you are seeing on the screen right now they're all uh, imagine generated right it's uh, you know we can do this in a controlled way and we can do this in an uncontrolled way and uh, the whole idea is how do we create designs uh, in faster and at the same time with double the probability of winning at the same time it's all about going closer to consumer now we have a fair amount of clients uh, you know including the fortune hundreds across the world and some of them uh, as you can see here we cut across from across categories across the spaces from luxury premium high street to value and uh, you know our rec the recognitions from customers are more important but having said that you know these are some of the recognitions uh, including united nations uh, championing for us the eliminate wastage by enabling brands and retailers to take informed decision making yeah that's uh, that's about it and uh, you know look forward to your questions Thanks Ganesh. Um some really interesting stuff there. You know, it strikes me especially watching that video that um this is certainly in a could be in a big enabler of fast fashion, but um with that in mind I guess it could also be an enabler of more sustainable practices as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's one of the objectives David for uh, our participation with Helsinki Fashion Week was uh, their theme was also sustainable fashion. How do we create designs where which actually sell through the consumers because uh, the whole point is that you know by making maybe uh, irrelevant designs what happens is we end up with overstock and understock right can we can we can we have the lagoon philosophy can we just make everything in the right amount in the right way this is just an enabler in that direction and of course a long way to go uh, you know we just all need to participate collaborate and see how do we overall uh, get closer to consumer yeah how might this work alongside things like um digital fabrics um technologies no absolutely uh, in fact uh, you know to an extent that uh, we can let's look at the holistic uh, stylumia proposition that we can actually predict digital designs if you have a 3d design we can come back and say that whether the 3d design will meet the demand will it work or not what's the probability that this will meet consumer demand is it a niche product is it a popular product you can decide actually then grade all the styles and you can decide how much you want to make and then you can feed uh, if you have lots of raw materials inspirations and you can feed to this imagine engine and it can come out with new ideas what about something like um you probably heard of queen of raw and this kind of thing like um you know using wasted textiles cut off off cuts things like this um you know could there be a solution that it um uses things like this i don't know right i think we need to just need to think and explore and then say how do we uh, how do we maximize uh, the opportunity with a technology like this right so i think it's uh, early days definitely by looking at various use cases and then say how can we enable using uh, using uh, this technology what have been some of your um greatest sort of successes of recent times with this yeah this is imagine is a yeah, you know uh, ready to go into the market this is an innovation cutting edge innovation uh, we have been in the market for now 4 years and uh, the kind of impact that we demonstrate is people get 10 times roi in one year uh, in 12 months of whatever they invest right uh, with stylumia whether they are investing on the research tool are they investing investing on the buying planning and uh, allocation solutions okay uh thank you all right well i've got some questions coming in so let me just um say them out here so um how does um imagine help with sustainability reduced waste um i think we covered that a little bit but maybe you could expand um and also what other solutions do 
you guys provide that allow for more accurate forecasting and then the right level of stock and less waste? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, very relevant question. And that's exactly what we do. One, let me just uh, recap all the solutions that we have. We have a solution called Consumer Intelligence Tool, which helps you pick winning ideas, pick winning trends, right? And that's called CIT. And then once you've done the research, you want to create designs. That's the Imagine, which we have just launched. Then is the buying assistant. How can we optimize our buying assortment? How do we get the width and depth right? That is our solution called Apollo. And uh, the last one is how do we optimize allocation to various channels and stores, which is our solution called store.py, call it story.